This is my wrap-up question. This is my wrap-up question since it's still morning. I want to get back to the tech. Could each of you describe some piece of technology, whether it's hardware or software, that you're either using or implementing now that helps us sort of put design everywhere? Oh, interesting. So that's a tough question, but what is some highlight a piece of technology that you think is important when it comes to this topic and this issue? That you, whether it's content management, whether it's psycho. Um, well, I I think that it's not quite there yet, but something that I see evolving is the ability for you to manage your native app content through web content management systems. So I think that is personally something that I think is, is so for example, um, you have a website and you have an HTML5 website. So for or you like products, like for example, you can take uh, Sitecore. Sitecore is a web content management system. There's a ton of them. There's uh, the Adobe CQ, there's, uh, or I guess it's called Experience Manager now. There's Episerver, there's Drupal. Probably Drupal is one. Drupal and WordPress are the two most common ones. Everybody's aware of those. So I, I so think that's critical now. some of these are starting to come up with kits that allow you to, in essence, create little snippets of content that you can drop into your apps. Uh, so I think that's a good way of trying to keep some sense out of it all. But obviously, it, it works against the, the, the desire to make your apps unique and to make full use of the hardware, right? Uh, but it's just w it's one way of managing the chaos. There's also cross-platform uh, you know, toolkits out there. You know, like uh, say there's a, a, a toolkit called Corona that allows you to make apps that work on different things. That's, uh, you probably know this one. Um, Mobile Roadie, which allows you to make Well, there's, there's some that will take an HTML5 application and just make an app out of it. Phone yes, phone gap. Phone that's what I was thinking of. Um, there's a Xamarin that allows .NET programmers to okay. make. You, you, you so, the, the so there's there's things at the technical level that help you do that from the designer perspective. I think you if the key is just to to stick to basic um, UI constructs and not go crazy on the on the features. Again, that's the opposite of what we were saying before that. Sometimes using the features in a, in a device is better, right? But if, if you want to make a design truly ubiquitous, you got to kind of try and dumb it down. So you say it's really So this, the CMS has helped deliver across a lot of platforms. So what he's also saying, and, and I think that that might get into an argument where people want to make design really interesting and creative, and what happened to creativity? Where are we? We're, we're, no, but the reality is that creativity now is 360. It's about empathy, and it's about creating the experience as a whole at many multiple times, not necessarily in one instance on one screen static to that layout or to that particular experience. So simplification, color, there's a lot of ways that I, I, I believe that we can use design to have it be easy across a lot of the different platforms. And that's a whole other um, uh, um, a panel that would be really interesting, like design from that point of view. But we're running out of time. And I know John has something specific he is itching to say. So John, again. Sorry, I, I can't shut up sometimes. Uh, so just in the last couple of questions and then in this, in this wrap up, I just have a quick comment. What I heard from you guys and what I found really effective as a, a tactic uh, is training and cross-training. Uh, in my mind, you actually and, and internet design is a holistic, it's not just print design, it's not just interaction design, it's not just engineering. And so um, I chalk it up as business creative tech as the, the very, very, very simple buckets to cross train across. Uh, but I found a lot of value in both culturally changing your company, increasing communication, efficiency. Um, you know, it's both an individual mandate as well as the organization has to support it too. I love that. Thank you. And I want to do some thank yous and some hands of applauses for a few people. Where's Alex Barcelona, the young lady right there who makes these events possible every other month? Um, and also a hand of applause to our awesome panelists uh, from Ocean, Stoffer, Blind, and Philosophy.